Hi there! Today, I'm going to show you how to make a straight through and a crossover Ethernet cable. These are the materials needed. Cat 5E Ethernet cable, stripper tool, RJ45 connector, curtain tool, and last a cable tester. First, we're going to make a straight through Ethernet cable. Carefully remove the outer jacket of the cable. Be careful when stripping the jacket as to not nick or cut the internal wire. There are four pairs white brown brown, white blue blue, white orange orange, and white green green. Untwist the pairs so they will lay flat between your fingers. Arrange the wires based on the wiring specifications you are following. For the straight through Ethernet cable, we will use the T568B standard. Keep the wires flat and in order as you push them into the RJ45 plug with the flat surface of the plug on top. Check the wires if they are inserted properly inside the RJ45 connector. This is the look of an uncrimped RJ45 connector. Using your crimping tool, insert the connector and cable into the 8 wire slot and press down tightly. This is the look of the crimped RJ45 connector. Lastly, test the cable to ensure that it will function in the field. Miswired and incomplete network cables could lead to headaches down the road. So we place it in two different slots. There are indications. Green is for good. Red is for short and with no color is for open. We turn on the cable tester and we see that it goes green. So we have successfully made our straight through Ethernet cable. Now we will proceed to the crossover Ethernet cable. The process of making crossover Ethernet cable is similar to the straight through Ethernet cable. The only difference is the arrangement of the colored wires inside the RJ45 connector. For the crossover Ethernet cable, at one end is a T568A standard and at the other end is a T568B standard. And again, we need to test the cable to ensure that it will function in the field. For now, we will test the crossover Ethernet cable. As you can see, the green light is showing. So it means we have successfully made our crossover Ethernet cable. 